I'm trying this new filming setup where you guys can see what's behind my background. Um, it's not perfect. I feel like I have to tweak it. I also feel like I'm a little dark, so I'm probably going to have to stop and check in case I need to pluck up another light. Um, but I'm trying this out for this video and the one video, the other video I'm going to film today. Let me know if you guys like this or if it's a no. If it's a no, then let me know that it's a no. Um, I know I still have to tweak it, but let me know. And if we have to go back to the backgrounds or whatever, then I'll change it. But let me see if I'm dark. And in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Okay, so like I said, let me know what you guys think of this. I hope I'm not too dark, but I'm going to be doing another trying new products video. So I'm going to be going in and trying out a new foundation and a new powder, um, a new setting powder and a new lip. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in. I don't want this video to be too long, especially since I'm doing this, getting ready for work. So like I said, I'm going to be trying out a new foundation and this is the Milk Makeup um, Blur Liquid Matte Foundation. And it just says, full coverage, water thin, um, foundation provides a weightless, long wearing matte finish, silicone free formula, won't clog pores so skin can breathe, blurring micro spheres, minimize the appearance of pores, fine lines, and imperfections for a smooth, flawless looking skin. Formula is housed in a mess free, no drip air type package. Direction, shake well before use, apply one to two drops to the center of the face into the center of the face and blend outward layer as needed. Um and this was forty dollars at Sephora. I purchased it in store and I have it in the shade deep. So um this is the foundation I'm gonna be using today. Just gonna blend you guys in. I mean blend you guys in, bring you guys in. Um so for primer, I'm, I'm so happy I can just turn and grab something. I'm going to be using the Milk Blurring Primer. Actually, I'm not going to use this because this does blur my pores. But I want to see what the foundation can really do. So I'm just really quickly going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. So I don't know why my camera stopped recording. So I'm going to take my Benefit Cabral and number six. And just go in and do my eyebrows per usual And then for eyeshadow, I'm just going to take my Give Me Glow Cosmetics Staple Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm just going to do a really neutral eye look. So I'm going to take the shade... Um, let's do the shade Hashtag, which is right here. And I'm going to take a little bit of that as my transition shade. This is not going to be like a tutorial, if you will, because this look is going to be super simple then on that same brush I'm gonna take the shade ride or die which is right here it's a really cool tone brown and I'm gonna blend this directly into my crease And then on my lid, I'm going to take the shade uh, WCW. And I'm just going to pop that on, just pack it onto my lid.
Then I'm gonna go ahead and blend a little bit of Dark As My Soul, which is a really dark brown, into my outer V just to darken up the look a little bit. I love this shade. It's like the darkest brown I think I've ever seen. It's literally like pressed espresso. And we'll come back to the eyes in a minute. In a minute, I just want to go ahead and start the face. So to prime, like I said, I'm not going to use my Milk Makeup Primer. I'm just going to go with my Smashbox Photo Focus, Photo Finish uh, Primer. And I'm just going to go ahead and prime my face with this. My skin has been getting so much better, you guys. Um, I'm going to do an updated skincare video when I have time to sit down and film. Like right now, I hope you guys can tell. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm exhausted. Like work has been killing me and I'm legit exhausted. I'm taking a little bit of my Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer and I like to place this just on my cheeks because under my foundation, it does make them look a lot smoother so like i said i have it in the shade deep which is the darkest one that i saw at sephora so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take it on the back of my hand i'm gonna do two drops oh it's really liquidy didn't expect that okay it's one drop you guys see one drop two drops and that's all i'm gonna use that little bit of product this is just concealer that's all I'm going to use. And I'm going to take my Juvia's Place J107. I'm sorry, it's dirty, but stippling brush. I'm just going to stipple, stipple, stipple. And stipple, stipple, stipple. This is for sure my shade, though. Oh, yes, this is my shade. Well, I didn't, not saying that I didn't think it was, but it's a perfect match is what i'm saying um so that little bit of foundation wasn't enough um i don't really know what to say about the coverage yet so i'm just gonna take a little bit more directly on my brush it is a very watery um foundation what is that on my eye? Um, the coverage is really n is okay. I'm not floored right now. What do you guys think? This is a great shade for a deeper to be called like there even just because a shade is called deep. It doesn't always translate that way. At least on my skin, it doesn't. Because sometimes it's um, too deep for me. Or sometimes it has too much of a red on the tone. And then it makes me look weird as the day goes on. It just, um, once I start getting oily, it looks really weird. This is okay. I don't feel like my face is cakey. I don't think it looks cakey. I don't think it feels cakey. But we'll see once we apply like, powder and everything. So I'm going to go with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. And I'm just going to conceal my under eyes. I don't feel like my pores are that much blurred out. I do have a few breakouts that you can still see. But I don't know. I feel like I could have done it a little differently. But it's okay. Um, we're just going to go with it. Because honestly, this is how I would normally do my foundation anyway. So, tweaking it shouldn't really make that much of a difference honestly so i'm all concealed i don't think my face looks amazing right now it looks normal so now i'm gonna take the other new product i'm just trying out and it's the Too faced born this way eternal loose eternal setting powder and this was i believe 32 dollars at sephora i think i paid and I love the packaging. It says Too Faced on the top. It's really, really nice. It's Too Faced Born This Way. Um, it's really, really nice. A nice weight to it. I love it. And then it has, I'm trying to think all setting powders should have. It has a closure at the top where you lift. 
Then the powder is in here and it has a sifter in the shape of a heart, which you guys probably can't see. So I'm just gonna put a little bit into the top. And it's a really light powder. It's about the same shade as my Laura Mercier, um, the original. I'm gonna take a little sponge. I'm just gonna set my under eyes with all my highlighted areas with this. I'm just gonna go in and it's not coming up too too light. Like I'm not afraid of like it giving any flashback i will do a flashback test um at the end it's gonna take a little bit more and this what i'm doing is what i would normally do anyway like i'm not doing anything different Um, I really like the color of this powder. I like the color a lot. Um, and this foundation is starting to grow on me a little bit. Um, but I like the color. Like I said, the heart-shaped sifter. I'm not afraid of any flashback at the moment. I'm just pouring whatever I didn't use back inside. And you close that little lid. Look at that. I wish all setting powders had that. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my wing eyeliner really quickly. I'm going to let this set for a second. And I'm just gonna do my wing. I never let my loose powder set for too, too long anyway, so. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my e.l.f. powder brush and I'm just going to go ahead and dust off this bake. I think it looks okay. Um... Like I said, we'll do a flashback test at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. So apparently my memory card is like corrupt or something because it, it's not really working out. So I just contoured a little bit and for blush, I'm going with the shade Toby, which is right here. I'm just going to apply... A little bit of that on my cheeks. Can you guys tell I'm out of it right now? Like, I'm just so out of it. Just gonna blush up. And I'm just gonna go over with my powder brush because I feel like I put too much. A highlight, I'm gonna take. I already used Lila in a video before, so I'm gonna take. I'll just use Lila again, this one right here. And next time I use the other one. Look how beautiful that highlight is though. And then for lips, for the first time, I'm gonna be using the new two one of the new Too Faced liquid latex in the shade strange love and this is like a really um milk chocolate brown i don't like the smell of these that's my only thing i don't like the smell all right guys so now i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts so first things first the foundation if i can find it on this messy table 
the foundation i think is okay i don't think it's something that you guys need to run out and go grab i think it, i really think it's okay i do like the coverage i still feel like i can see my pores and my a little bit of my texture but it's a great great shade of deep for deeper skin tones it's a really great shade um yeah, I like the coverage. Don't get me wrong, it is full coverage, and I'm quite sure if I had I built it up, I would really be able to see that nice full coverage that it claims to be. But I'm just not wowed. I think it's nice. I think it's great. But I don't think it's something amazing. And it's a great price for foundation. It's $40. Which I feel really isn't that bad for foundation. There are cheaper ones at Sephora. Especially for all the claims that this foundation makes. Also, this is the packaging. I don't even know why I you got. You see what I'm saying? You see why today is just like... Ugh! Um, For all the things that this foundation claims to do, $40 is... A price I feel is based on its claims and I feel like it could be a little bit cheaper than $40 you know, I feel like $40 isn't that bad I do think my face looks okay but it looks just okay and I'm not wild um, now for the loose setting powder I really do like this powder it didn't give me any flashback it dusted off just fine it really did this did a little bit of blurring if you ask me um and it's a really nice loose powder you guys know but some of you may know if you've been watching my channel from when i first first started i'm a loose powder junkie like if you guys you guys probably can't see it but i'm a loose powder junkie and i i put loose powders on a very high standard because i love them so much and i have so many to choose from but i really do like this i like the packaging i like the price it's only 32 dollars which is around the same price as laura mercier i love this cover that it comes with in the top like i love it um and i love the finish i love how it's not stark white it is a very neutral white in my opinion um, I really do like them under eye looks. It's nice and set. Um, so I do like the loose powder for the lip. I think this is a really nice chocolate um, brown. This is really blending in with my skin due to the shade. But I really do like the uh, texture of it. It's not too sticky. I just don't like the smell. I'm not fond of the smell at all. So that's my only thing with that. And this was $20 at Sephora. So overall, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think down below of not only the new background, well, not new, but like I'm just testing it out, um, what you guys think, and of my face. What do you guys think of the face and everything, um, and of these products, and how do you guys think it looks? I love you guys to absolute pieces, and I will see you all in the next one. Mwah.